Hi guys, my name is Dr. Zainab Bora and I have uh, done my MBBS and MD in Radiology from AMC of Delhi and we are continuing with the 11th part of the series on the must know radiological images. Uh, so these are a series of short videos focusing on important images. So today we are going to be focusing our attention on two kinds of leaf signs. All right. So there are two leaf signs which are very easily confused on the chest radiograph and that is what we are going to look at. So in this first image if you look very carefully you can see various scattered opacities. Right. So these are quite dense. So what are these opacities which are gathered throughout the lung fields? So this is been referred to as the holly leaf sign. So this is the holly leaf sign which is seen in asbestosis. So these calcified opacities are nothing but the pleural plaques. So remember the most common finding in asbestosis is actually pleural plaques which eventually get calcified. So because of x-ray being a 2D projection right you will have the anterior and posterior pleural opacities being superimposed on the lung fields and that is why these appear as if they are in the lung parenchyma but they are actually anterior and posterior in the pleural surfaces. So remember the holy leaf sign actually represents the calcified pleural plaques all right apart from that remember other features of asbestosis you can have fibrotic opacities you can have nodular opacities concentrated in the lower lobe so apart from that remember asbestosis as the name suggests asbestosis you can remember is more common in lower lobes whereas all the other occupation related diseases will have a upper lobar predilection Okay, so that is one feature. Apart from that, most specific malignancy, remember mesothelioma, will have a nodular pleural thickening. It won't be calcified, nodular pleural thickening with no mediastinal shift. That is called as the frozen hemithorax. So this is holly leaf. In contrast, when we look at this particular radiograph here, can you notice how instead of this being white, like we saw with holly leaf and asbestosis, these are black, black linear opacities, which are nothing but air so you can see that air is radiating like this how is this pattern is along the pectoralis apart from that also along the lateral chest wall in the subcutaneous plane in the neck you can see that there is air so this actually represents subcutaneous emphysema all right so this is subcutaneous emphysema and the leaf sign which has been described for this is called the ginkgo leaf sign so now you need not remember what these leaves actually look like it won't be very helpful but remember the mnemonic sub g like we have pub g which is now banned remember sub g all right so subcutaneous emphysema is ginkgo and the other leaf automatically goes to asbestosis right so apart from that where do we see subcutaneous emphysema so this is very frequently seen in trauma all right so in trauma cases when you have airway injury where there is air leak you can find that the air gathers into the subcutaneous plane apart from that anytime you have pneumomediastinum if you focus very carefully can you see this air around the aortic knuckle so if i erase this you can see that there is air around the um, aortic knuckle all right let me erase so this is the air around the aortic knuckle which will appear which is nothing but the ring around the artery sign of pneumomediastinum so a lot of times pneumomediastinum can lead to subcutaneous emphysema as well or there can be pneumothorax which can also lead to pneumomediastinum as well as subcutaneous emphysema okay so that is something which you can remember so this is about subcutaneous emphysema and asbestosis so remember sub subcutaneous emphysema is going to have ginkgo leaf whereas asbestosis the calcified pleural plaque is going to have the holly leaf so this was what i had in this particular short video i'll see you very soon with the next one thank you